Well, Krista Rogers' family is now begging for answers. The Bardstown mother, 35-year-old, has now been missing for two years. WDRB's Katrina Helmer spoke with her mother, who says she will never give up hope. Two years ago today, Crystal Rogers disappeared. As time passes, her mother says she will never stop looking and she needs your help to bring Crystal home. A mother's instincts, now a mother's nightmare. When I went and reported Crystal missing, um, I knew that day something was wrong. Crystal Rogers, the 35-year-old mother of five, was reported missing July 3, 2015. Her car was found abandoned on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway two days later. Rogers' longtime boyfriend, Brooks Halk, was named a suspect, but two years later, still no one has been charged. Sometimes it feels like it's been that long. Sometimes it feels like it was just yesterday and the pain is still raw and right there. Sherry Ballard says her hope will also never fade, even as the family faces more tragedy. It's very, very hard to me continue, for me to continue to look for Crystal without him. Sherry's husband, Tommy Ballard, was shot and killed last November while out hunting on the family's property. KSP is treating it as a death investigation. The pain of losing a daughter and a husband, at times too much to handle. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Tommy <laughs> was like my whole world. Sherry says she knows Tommy's death was not an accident. The family believes the same person is responsible for Crystal's disappearance. Two former KSP troopers are now dedicated to investigating these and other high-profile unsolved crimes in Bardstown. Sherry says she's not waiting. She will have answers someday. My husband was there for me 24 hours a day and I will be there for him and Crystal till the day I die. So whatever I have to do to do that, I will. <laughs> so there's nothing going to scare me away from looking for my daughter and my husband. If you have any information that can help find Crystal, you need to call the Nelson County Sheriff's Department, and there's going to be a prayer vigil on Wednesday. Reporting in Bardstown, I'm Katrina Helmer, WDRB News.